Good evening and welcome to the January 25th, 2023 meeting of the Newtown Board of Supervisors. Um, I'd like to welcome everyone, both here in the room and on, in YouTube land and cable TV land. Um, it's our usual custom to have a moment of silence. And as we do so this evening, uh, maybe we can just clear our minds and focus on the work ahead of us. Uh, please join us in a moment of silence. Thank you. And now, please join the board in the reciting the Pre Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Um, Mr. Lewis, are there any changes to the agenda? There are no changes, Mr. Chairman. Okay, great. No special actions. That brings us to our first round of public comment. And uh, if you're so inclined, please come to the podium and give us your name and where you live. I see no one approaching, so we'll go right into reports of committees, boards, and commissions. I see Peggy Driscoll is here from the Planning Commission. Welcome. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Peggy Driscoll, Chair of the Newtown Planning Commission, here to give you a report on our January 17th meeting. Uh, the Planning Commission welcomed <clears throat> our two new members, Alex Treese and John DeAprile. We reorganized, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a cold, nominating myself as chairman, Craig Deutsch as vice chairman, and Mary Donaldson as secretary. We reviewed a summary of our discussions on the revised draft of the Joint Comprehensive Plan. Generally, we are in support of the plan, but have voted to postpone making recommendations to the board until our two new members have had time to read the plan and our members' reports on the eight sections impacting Newtown. Uh, they can then comment and have an informed vote on the recommendations. We also voted to ask you, the board, to forward our recommendations on Principle 5, Livable Communities, <clears throat> written by member and Newtown Fire Association President Warren Dallas to the Jointure and Bucks County Planning Commission <clears throat> to determine whether Principle 5 should be revised to include the suggested changes or placed on Newtown's addendum to the plan. The suggested changes are attached to this report, but generally involve changes to reflect recent changes in our fire protection. And that was all we had. And any questions for the Planning Commission and Ms. Driscoll? Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Stay dry out there. Okay. Uh, next are board member reports. And I guess I, j I just have one other than the fact that I attended the Planning Commission as well. So I don't have to give a report on that. Um, I did attend the NF, the Newtown Fire Association on Monday evening. Uh, I just would report three or four uh, things that happened. New, new officers were elected and sworn in. Uh, they reported that the new breathing apparatus, the self-contained breathing apparatus, uh, had been purchased and I believe it has, had arrived. Um, they also uh, announced that a new fire services agreement was reached with Newtown Borough. And lastly, they were approved to go into the high school to recruit new young members. That's all I have to report. M Mr. Vice Chair, anything? Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, all I wanted to report is tomorrow there's going to be a meeting of the Bucks County Tax Collection Committee. And I think I'm assigned to represent the uh, new town at that meeting, which is going to basically have a reorganization. But I see on the agenda here, uh, under old business, it says Falls Township and Langhorne Borough instituted uh, 
earned income tax in 2023, and that might have an impact on uh, Newtown. So uh, Keystone Collections, which uh, handles the EIT tax, will give an update so I can have some information to bring back at the, at the next meeting regarding that. That's it for me. Thank you. Can I just ask you, it was Falls Township, and what was the other municipality? Langhorn. Langhorn. Langhorn Borough. Okay. Thanks. The Secretary Treasurer? For me, uh, I attended the Planning Committee meeting and the Newtown Fire Association meeting, and uh, that's all I have for this week. Thank you. Mr. Calabro? I have nothing to report, Mr. Okay. Mr. Chair. Thank you. Mr. Davis. Thank you. Uh, I have the uh, Park and Market report for today. Uh, Pre-registered today for the following upcoming programs. Growing Dahlias. There's a Saturday art workshops, <coughs> the art of Kauai, and a creative theater. Uh, other announcements. There's a six-week summer camp registration is online. Register soon to save your spot. Early registration discounts available until March 30th. And check NewtownFund.com for most up-to-date information. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Davis. That um, was all the member reports. No public hearings, no land development. That brings us to reports of officials. And first uh, to go is uh, our engineer. Thank you. Um, first item we have tonight is payment certificate number four for the 2022 Liquid Fuels Road Program. Um, the work is complete, so this is the final payment. Um, based on the work that's complete, we recommend payment to Harris Black Topping in the amount of $15,553.84. We have that recommendation. Would someone like to make a motion? So moved. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Second? I'll second it. So we have a motion and a second. Do we have any discussion from the board? This is the very last one for 2022. Absolutely. Yep. Any discussion from the public? Seeing none, I'll call, call the question. All those in favor of um, paying the, 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 the last payment certificate, there it is, for the liquid fuels program, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Pass, passes five, nothing. Um, I wanted to provide a quick update. Um, I know if you had questions on the Lower Dolington Road Trail mm -hmm. project, um, if I'm available. Um, basically, uh, right now we're waiting for the Lumens contractor to complete the relocation of the fiber that's there. Um, they're waiting on a few pieces of material. My understanding it's the vaults that have to go underground. Um, so once they have those vaults, they'll be able to complete that relocation. Um, hopefully they'll be able to know soon. Uh, I know there's some lead time issues on that. So um, they're working with the supplier to get an updated schedule. So as soon as I have that from them, I'll be able to report on that. Um, and then hopefully our contractor can get back out there as soon as they're complete. So. Can I ask a question? Uh, just some minor detail. I know that they've... Uh, they put this tubing underground and everything doesn't look all connected. There's still tubing sticking out, but they haven't actually moved the cables from the other side of the street where the trail is going to be. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, my understanding is they put just the conduit in on the opposite side. Once they have those other materials, they can then actually shift the fiber across the street. There's no delay of service or anything like that. So. so do they dig up on the other side of the street also where the cable is to get the cable out? There I'm, may be I'm, a few areas where they have to dig that up, um, but once our contractor comes through, that's all going to be dug up <laughs> after anyway for the trail. So. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We move on to the solicitor's report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First item on our report is a consideration by the board this evening of a PRD variance decision from the last hearing. Recall the board granted a PRD variance for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Lavin uh, at, um, what is their address? Uh, it's in Cliveden. 169. Uh, thank you, 169 Cliveden Drive, uh, for the construction of a patio, uh, I'm sorry, a roof over their patio. We've prepared the written decision, and if the board's of a mind, it would be a motion to uh, authorize execution of that decision and order. Would the board be of that mind? 
So I'd like to make a motion. I'll make that motion. Okay, we have a second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion from the board? Any from the public? Seeing none, I'll call the question. All those in favor of approving the PR, PRD variance for Lavin, the Lavin family at 169 Cliveton Avenue, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Next item is uh, consideration by the Board of uh, the enactment of an ordinance reducing the speed limit on. Uh, Washington Avenue slash Newtown Yardley Road between Lower Dolington Road and the Newtown Borough Line from 35 miles an hour to 25 miles an hour. That ordinance has been advertised for the board's consideration this evening. And again, if the board is of a mind, it would be a motion to enact that ordinance. We have such a motion. So moved. We have a second. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Do we have any further discussion from the board? Seeing none, um, and is there any discussion from the public on this motion? Okay. Seeing none, I'll call the question. Though, all those in favor of enacting the ordinance for reducing the maximum speed limit at Washington Avenue, Newtown Yardley Road, um, and, and there's other details to that. Um, and all, all in favor of that motion, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes five to zero. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. That concludes our report. Okay, great. That brings us to the manager's report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> General fund balance this evening is four million seven hundred and seventy-nine thousand three hundred and twenty-four dollars. Plain expiration before the board with no action required. And this evening we have Chief Foresight to give the monthly emergency services report. Evening, Chief. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It's a pleasure to be here tonight in the rain. I'd like to report for the month of December of 2022, we had 134 calls for service. We completed 43 fire safety inspections in Newtown Township and four in Newtown Borough. Out of the 134 calls for service, we had 29 alarm systems, two building fires, 63 EMS calls, two squad assists, seven fumes in, nine dwelling fires, two special assignments, five water flow alarms, three wires in, three traffic accidents, one auto extrication, one domestic rescue, one investigation, and two brush fires. We responded to a total of 18 calls in Newtown Borough. Emergency services responded to 13 calls for service and NFA responded to five calls for service. The total calls of service between Newtown Borough and Newtown Township were 106. Um, most of you know that on January 1st, we had a serious fire in the Headley development. Uh, it's the first fatal fire we've had in over 40 years. Um, the fire is still under investigation once everything is completed. Um, we'll keep the manager and everybody in the loop. So everybody, if you get questions, you can refer them to our office or we'll be more than happy to answer any questions that folks out there may have. i uh, also like to report that yesterday I was informed that hopefully the SAFER grant will be announced on February 13th. So if that's something you guys want to think about, just keep in mind and uh, let me know what you want to do. And that concludes my report. When you say it's announced that uh, that's <clears throat> they're opening it for applications. Yes. That's the tentative okay. date to open it. Um, I did hear that they're still releasing some of the 2022 grants, so I'm not sure if the 13th will fly, but I'll keep everybody in the loop so that okay. you know what the date is. And there was something in your report, wires in? There were wires inside of dwellings. Uh, okay. Um, we, we break them down between dwelling fires and certain kinds of calls inside of dwellings. So we had two or three wires in calls. Thank uh, you. December, if you remember, it got very cold. That's what resulted in the uh, 
uptick in the water flow alarms. We had a lot of broken pipes. Thank God there were none here this year. Um, so that was the increase in that call. Hmm. Um, the fumes in, a lot of them are from fireplaces and things like that as a result. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Any other questions or comments? Okay, we'll move right along. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Mr. Chairman, I have three other items under my report for the board's consideration. First of which is the uh, Clark House lease extension. Uh, as you're aware, the, the lease uh, with the current tenant is expiring. Uh, this is a, an extension of that, that current lease with no changes from this year. The appropriate motion would be a uh, motion to approve the um, Clark House lease extension, the current tenant. Do we have such a motion? So moved. We have a motion. And we have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Um, any further questions or discussion from the board? Any from the public? Okay. Uh, seeing none, I'll call the question. All those in favor of approving the Clark House lease extension, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Next item on my report, Mr. Chairman, is, <clears throat> as you're aware, we've reached a tentative agreement with lo uh, CWA Local 13,000, the union that represents um, the non-uniform employees that work in the township. Um, some of the highlights of that agreement consist of 3% wage increases, revised vacation schedule, uh, COVID-19 uh, protections, uh, along with... Uh, a memorandum of understanding that would eliminate the custodian position after the current employee separates from employment from the township. The appropriate motion would be a uh, motion to approve the tentative agreement with CWA Local 13,000 for non-uniform employees and authorizing execution of the agreement once finalized. I, I would like to note real quick for the board's information that the union has ratified that con this t tentative agreement. Okay. Uh, do we have a motion to approve this tentative agreement? I'll make a motion. I have a motion. I'd like to. I'd like to be the second on that also. Uh, so we have a motion and a second. Um, any further discussion from the board? Um, seeing none, do we have any public comment on the on the motion? Seeing none, I'll call the question. All those in favor of approving the tentative agreement with the CWA local 13,000 for non-uniformed non employees and authorizing execution of the agreement once finalized, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 5 nothing. The only thing that I would add would be uh, to thank the negotiating team for uh, getting this done. <coughs> Will do. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Final item under my report is the authorization to purchase a Ford F-550 dump truck from Chapman Auto through CoStars in the amount of $136,216. This truck was part of the 2023 um, capital improvement plan uh, that was in, in place when the budget was passed. This vehicle will, will be uh, financed once we, once we have it in, in possession, so it will be a separate motion for the financing. We're just approving, or, or not, we're, just, we're, uh, we're voting on the purchase. Yes, essentially you're voting on the ordering process. Yep. Okay. Do we have a motion to do that? I'll make that motion. Do we have a motion? Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Thank you very much. Um, do we have any further discussion from the board? Any from the public? Okay, seeing none, I'll call the question. Those in favor of authorizing the purchase of the Ford F-550 dump truck from Chapman Auto through CoStars in the amount of $136,216, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries 5-0. That's all I have under my report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Ms. Ms. Schneider, you want to do the... Bills and bills list and minutes. I would like to make a motion to approve the January 11th 
minutes. Yes. <laughs> Make a motion to approve the January 11th minutes. Thank you. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Do we have any discussion from the board? Any from the public? Call the question. Those in favor of approving the minutes of January 11th, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Like to make a motion to pay our bills in the amount of two hundred and six thousand three hundred nine hundred and thirty nine dollars and thirty five cents. Again, two hundred and six thousand nine hundred and thirty nine dollars and thirty five cents. You got it. Uh, that was a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Uh, so we have a motion and a second. Um, any? <clears throat> for the discussion from the board, I do have a question for mm -hmm. uh, for Mr. Lewis. Uh, looking at the, the bills list, I see Barry is still associates uh, zoning officer of services around twenty nine thousand dollars a month. I mean a year. Excuse me. Is that a month or year? December. It's December twenty two. Is that right? But that's several months. Okay, and that's also for building inspection as well. Okay, is that the normal amount? I looked back through some old bills. I did see that was the case. So it's not just. Regular zoning stuff, it's building right. inspection. It's, it's building it? inspection okay. as well. All right, thanks. Any other questions? Any from the public? Seeing none, I'll call the question. All, all those in favor of paying our bills as listed on the bills list for January 25th, 2023, say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Motion carries four to one. I'd like to make a motion to approve interfund transfers in the amount of $529,607,607, sorry, even. So that's $529,607. Very good. Uh, you have a motion to have a second. I'll second. All right, a motion and a second. Any additional discussion from the board on our interfund transfers? Any from the public? Seeing none, I'll call the question. All those in favor of paying our interfund transfers as found on the January 25th, 2023 bills list, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Thank you. Thank you. That brings, it, brings us to our second round of public comment. Is there any public comment this evening? Okay, seeing none, we'll move right along. Um, I'm not sure if what I have is old business or new business, but uh, do we have any old business? I'll, I'll, do, I'll bring what I have under new business. Uh, I'll let you go first, I had something. Okay, well, Mr. Clabo. You can have old business, John, if you want to. Old business or new business? I think it's old business or maybe new business. It has to do with the speed limit on North Sycamore, which I think we were informed would be possible to implement and we need to have a, um, uh, an, an ordinance advertised as we did with the uh, Newtown Yardley Road. So I'm assuming we have to put that on the agenda for the next meeting. Can we uh, possibly do that? Well, I, I don't think, well, let me say this. <clears throat> at a past meeting when all this was being discussed I, um, late last year at some time. And the engineer was authorized to look into the various changes and uh, safety provisions that the board wanted to see Im implemented on North Sycamore Street. Part of that was to establish and, and do, what it take, do what it takes to establish the uh, data required to have a 25 mile an hour speed limit on North Sycamore Street and to implement the ordinance. So I think that the board's already authorized it. Um, all I have to do is draft it and advertise it and um, you can consider it at your next meeting for enactment instead of wasting the time of going ahead and okay. putting it on an order, uh, putting it on a, an agenda to authorize advertisement. Let me say, there is currently in the code of ordinances, it's the only 
maximum speed limit on Sycamore Street is 25 miles an hour. It says Sycamore Street, entire length, 25 miles an hour. However, that was not amended when Sycamore Street was redesignated as North Sycamore Street and South Sycamore Street. South Sycamore running between the bypass and Swamp Road, North Sycamore running between Swamp Road and Durham Road. So what I think has to happen is the ordinance has to be amended to remove the existing Sycamore Street and to add North Sycamore Street 25, South Sycamore Street 25. Um, I guess the question is, uh, South Sycamore Street doesn't present as uh, dangerous a situation as North Sycamore. So I thought the, we were talking about just North Sycamore between Swamp Road and Durham Road. We are, we are, except that South Sycamore Street's already 25 miles an hour. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, have, I have the ordinance prepared, and, and I think we're already authorized to uh, advertise it at the direction of Mr. Lewis. I believe you, and I'm going to drive it and find the, <laughs> see what the... That's what the code says. Yeah, please do, by all means. Yep. Don't get a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sorry. Okay. Mr. Calabro, you're on. Yeah, Mr. Chair, thank you. Um, as some may have recalled, a few years ago when Delancey Court was being uh, developed, there was an agreement between uh, Toll Brothers uh, and uh, Society Place Boundary Line that the iron, wrought iron fence or whatever the fence may be, the black fence that goes in between the boundary there, will be maintained and um, upkept by either Delancey Court or Toll Brothers. I believe there is a break in that fence. The break in that fence has been there for a while, uh, over a year now, and I was just wondering what's the status and who's going to fix it because I, I've been notified by Society Places Legal and... Um, Instead of taking action, we would like to know if that is going to be taken care of. I think Mr. Manager would probably have that information for us, or engineering would have that information. I was just going to ask if that was something, if the manager could send, send a letter. I have, I have talked to Michelle Fountain about that. She reached out to Toll Brothers, and they indicated that a, a tree damaged it. So it would be the responsibility of the HOA, as far as they're concerned, to uh, finalize it. So I will ask our zoning officer to get in touch with the HOA over there to let them know. Okay, thank you. Well, it's, it's been an ongoing thing for over over a year or so, and I uh, can't believe they've been dragging their feet for this long. Uh, I know when they've requested some things that they didn't like at Society Place, uh, they complain constantly to the township, and here we have a broken fence of which we have an agreement that it's supposed to be maintained, and they still neglect to maintain it. So um, by telling Mrs. Fount Ms. Fountain, who tells Toll Brothers, who then blames it on the Delancey Court, isn't, isn't getting any kind of uh, um, closure for society place to have this taken care of. So uh, we would like to know, you know, what what was what is happening is is Mr. Murphy still their attorney who needs to be contacted or his toll brothers attorney need to be contacted? You know these are these are things that we need we need to know instead of having the engineer engineer go back and forth and the township go back and forth. Uh, we would just like this be, to be taken care of. They're on notice now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we we'll keep an eye on that. All right, and any other any other business? I have um, a request for um, a, a look at the uh, AV room upgrades. The, and they would be audiovisual upgrades for this room. Uh, they're in. The, we have a, an amount budgeted from uh, American Rescue Funds. And, and that's uh, $120,000. I'm not, sh not sure we need all that, that so I was, was going to ask uh, actually the, the township administration to give us some recommendations for a AV upgrades. I think we've talked about upgrading the cameras. 
uh, upgrading the monitors, uh, maybe some speakers in the back of the room, um, and then what, whatever else we not, may not be aware of, and, and maybe including uh, video gold to give us a, a, an, an analysis, a needs analysis of what they need in the, in the uh, AV room. So I would just like to uh, begin looking at that. Um, I mean, we have the we have the whole year to spend it, but uh, maybe there's maybe we don't have to spend all of it. So that would be my my uh, request for. I don't know if we need some consensus from the board to uh, direct the administration to do that, and if anybody has any objection. But I'm seeing no objection. Okay. I have no objection. I would say that uh, there are certain things, there are certain priorities that are more important than others, and I think we should take care of them. I, too, don't think that that entire amount that we have uh, on paper is going to be needed at this time. Great. All right. So, does the administrator, does ma manager, assistant manager, you feel like you've got some direction there? We got plenty. <clears throat> okay. Yes. Great. All right. Uh, there's no reason for an executive session. That's correct. Thank you. Uh, seeing that we've reached the end of our agenda, this might be a, a record from, for me, but uh, 30, 33 minutes. But uh, without objection, I will adjourn our meeting. Thank you very much, everybody. Stay safe. <laughs>